yeah. Believe it or not, I'm still getting requests. Not like these requests are stupid, thankfully. So what Daiso Devon said in one of my comments on when I was playing freaking Onion Janigro was why not try this ROM hack piece which you could if you want. I know what the ROM hack looks like. It's, I think its longer title is The Legendary Peace Witch Void. And it's done something that I really never saw any other ROM hack do. You'll see. If I can freaking click the button to start the game. Peace Switch. Peace Switch 1. Let's go with one player. Press up to go to the next page. Alright. Luigi. Hey Mario, heading to Yoshi's house? Hey Luigi, yes I am. Luigi, we haven't saved the princess in a year. What should we do? <laughs> I am just a side quest for you. Ah, it's a ghost! I am not a ghost. I am what you might call a spirit. I am... That's Daiso Devon's avatar. That he put into the game. Nice to meet you. Daiso. Anyways, there is a legend I was searching for called the Peace Witch Void. I had always believed in that. Luigi, wait, so you want us to go halfway across the galaxy just to find some void? Isn't that a little big for a request? Koopa, don't worry, Luigi. I made a warp pipe to go there, but us brothers. Brothers? How? Long story, actually. Yes, you'll be going there. Thanks, anyways, but we better get going without time for this. Daiso, not even for 4,000 coins. It's a done deal. <laughs> Crack. My name's Crack Koo by Kaizo, by the way. Sure thing, crack, I'll take the quest too. Okay, so now what? And so Mario and Luigi heads of... Heads of... To the pipe on the mountain. It should be off to the pipe on the mountain. We can be in the void. And why can't we... Okay, now we can move. <laughs> we can go in the cabin, right? Short, it won't. You will shortly see exactly what this guy has done. That I've never really seen in either ROM hack before, that I never would have expected to see. So far, you're seeing a lot of pee here. Yeah, Daiso Devon is a fanatic of piss. I don't think I needed to know that. Warp pipe. <laughs> Okay, somehow we just got taken straight there, which is good. This isn't a necessarily long path, we might as well just put him straight in level. B-switch. Let's at least clear out some enemies. Welcome to the P-switch void, where all of everything is P-switches. Be careful, if there's a one-eyed red P-switch, watch out. Daiso Devon made a ROM hack where literally everything is made of P switches. Everything. Literally everything. Like, th I am not even kidding. Everything's a power switch in this ROM hack. Okay, there's that too. Yeah, of course. How we manage this is beyond me. Seriously. Okay, how was I supposed to know how that worked? Not like I was gonna know. So apparently, there's also a readme with things you could try and do with this ROM hack. Apparently, you could try and actually do this without dying, but so far that hasn't been done yet. Or maybe do it all in one run. Well, the author said the level was very long and you could save state in each room, or after each room, to counteract the fact that it's this long. Yeah. Or there is a midpoint after each room. <laughs> Come on! Apparently there's a midpoint after each room. So it's long, but at least there's checkpoints. A huge flaw in Own Ninja Negro that seriously hindered it. The fact that there were no midpoints, in combination with the long levels and its insane bosses. But as for bosses, I really don't know what to expect from here. All I know is, it probably won't be anything like Own Ninja Negro's bosses. I don't really think you could get much harder than that. I, I just don't think that it's humanly possible. 
If it is, then well, I don't know. Come on, enemy! Enemy! Freaking in my way. What does this do? That's a springboard. Oh no. Okay, give me this mushroom. Good. What's it? DDV. Alright. This is definitely a unique ROM hack, like, I don't... Yeah, usually creativity is sort of lacking these days, but... When you see things like this, you're just reassured that people are coming up with unique ideas. Avoid where everything is made of P-switches. The level design is fairly normal, but everything else... No. Everything else is just totally different. Okay, so that's an actual piece which you have to use. Of course, I should have known that I'd be using a piece which, because, well, considering how everything is made from them. Now we're running through here. That's a midpoint. Well, it made the midpoint sound, so let's just go in here. Missed and more P switches. What did I just go into? Blue and gray coins are all right. However, you should be aware that red P coins tend to warn you if there are things above it. Red ones? Like these? Well, I've been given power up, so okay. Now you just put me right back where the level begins. Great. At least I think I know how to get by this. Yup. Like that. I see what he's talking about now. <laughs> it is nice to have a warning, you know. I can carry this if I want to. Okay, I can. Just drop already. Yeah. Those red P coins or whatever, they're supposed to be are pretty helpful. Telling me where exactly it is that's dangerous. This thing is probably just gonna slow me down in the end, so I'll just ditch it. What is that supposed to be? Really, what are these supposed to be that this wimp is hopping on? Okay, so I got more of this layer. Two shenanigans here. Okay! Okay! Did not expect it to start doing that. Okay, can I get this back, please? Now all of a sudden I'm here. Wish I can go to that door. And I'm back here. Alright. Okay, so this is where I was before I died. Fair enough. Except I have to do it again, so yeah. Why well, watch the same thing twice? So we're back to where I was before. Roughly. Okay, so I can go through here. I just need to wait. Makes perfect sense. I'm actually familiar with this guy, so yeah. Dyson of Devon's a little more well known than Darken was. So yeah. I think we should be a little more familiar with what he can do, and I'm expecting better since, well, yeah, he's a little more well known. Besides, this is already better. There's midpoints, as you can hear. Except you still only start with five lives, so who knows if those midpoints will only take you so far. <laughs> okay, I just realized now. The switches are actually extending from the bottoms. I just realized what that's supposed to be now. Except I need to be able to get up here. Good. I know what to 
do here. Okay, let me look at this. That's a close one. Now, kill this! Oh my, just, there we go. That's not our midpoint. <laughs> and now, what's going on? Okay, so what's this room? I don't even know. Not got a chance to get ready for it. Okay, now can I have this power up and go up here? Yes, I can. Can I not get hit? I'm just trying to go up these P-switches. That's annoying. <gasps> okay, where am I supposed to go even? Okay, I got another of these. Thanks. I can go in here. And this is where I was before. Red. Blue. Red. Solid when the screen's red, and this is solid when it's blue. Okay, can I land on the ground? That's solid when it's blue. Okay, gimmick makes perfect sense now. Gimmick makes perfect sense now. Red. Red is gonna be solid. This gimmick makes perfect sense, although it's still tough to follow. Right now I have a little maze made of this stuff. And these things are slowing me down. They're really not helping me get through this maze if you would have it. Okay, what did I die? Oh, turned blue and I got stuck inside the solid switch. Except, you're gonna run out of life, so that only lasts you so long. It's still more fun than when you can grow, let me tell you. This is still way more fun. I now understand the gimmick, so yes. With a fair understanding of the gimmick, I stand a better chance now. Here, I'm waiting for these things to just stop. Man, this is gonna be tricky to try to not get hit. Now I go down here. Then I go down again. This makes perfect sense, actually. It's red, it's red, jump! No, friggin' friggin' switch! Don't you dare do that. Oh, I can just... You can stand on that? Like I was gonna guess. Enemy screwed me over, so great. At least I think I can slide into this thing, or whatever it is. At least this is fun and all, but I can't believe I'm getting my ass kicked as well. Just things just do whatever the hell they want. Okay, now I can take this. I'm supposed to run through that before everything is solid, and I die from it. That makes perfect sense, actually. All of this does. Except I'm not good at it. There just seems to be so many gimmicks and or stupid difficulty things going on recently. Well, I'm happier with the gimmicks. It shows that you're smart. It shows that you're more brilliant, which I like. And this is not going to be easy. How, how am I going to do this, actually? I can't seem to get the time to jump up and... Okay, I can just do that. That works. When it's red, the red is solid. When it's blue, the blue is solid. Is it over? Can it really be over? Please. I got a huge switch. Nope.avi. Not a long line of haz. Midpoint. And here is... Okay, let me look at the... Though. Now there's gravity to worry about. Okay.
Okay, I'm taking a hit there. I didn't... Okay, now we get a line of lols, and what am I supposed to do here? Maybe just jump. What's going on? Now all of a sudden your gravity's rambling. Seems like everything has to do with gimmicks these days. I'm running into more gimmicks than I last remembered. Oh, great, now what am I supposed to do? Work around this gimmick? I'm saying the word gimmick a lot. Because I'm running into gimmicks pretty much all the time now. I, I just don't know anymore. When am I going to find, like, a regular hack? Not like this is bad because it's not regular. This is actually pretty cool. It shows you're brilliant, but still. Get my ass kicked. Because the physics are just greatly changing. It's changing the sign that I just don't seem to recognize. And there's... Somehow I gotta dodge this. Alright, that works. I mean, that's simple enough, but then you gotta worry about this. I need to be able to jump off of the enemy. Which I can... Okay, that time I could do it, but I still died. It's the first time I made that jump, but I don't know what's gonna happen next. There just seems to be so many enemies just waiting to kill you. It's just... Well, at least there's a power-up. That's nice. I can probably just fall through these piece switches. I don't want it. And now I have to do this again. Okay, that actually worked. Nice. No, 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 no. Kick. Okay, that's a boo. Reskinned as, of course, a power switch. The whole hack is themed around it. And... I'm gonna say, I have a bad recollect. I have a bad memory with bosses, so I'm gonna say stay here just because it's a freaking boss. If you see, saw exactly what happened when I played Onion oh, Negro, what happened to all those bosses, of course you'd be traumatized by what could be coming up next. If you played it yourself, you'd be traumatized of bosses too. Is that so? Let me guess. A toaster oven. On its forehead, of course. Wait, Balrog from Cave Story is the king? I mean, it may not seem that dangerous, but I can pack quite a bunch. Is the gravity all screwed up, too? My name is Bowser, the king of the peace with the void. Bowser sounds like a Bowser, and you happen to be a Bowser. Don't know who this Bowser is, knows the pee on my head. We're only here for a quest end. <laughs> hey, let's fight. No more the cutscenes. Okay, can I move? Okay, I can. This is gonna be hard. I don't even know what he's capable of. Okay, somehow he just took out my freaking power up in one shot. <laughs> Look at the face on him. He looks so adorable like that. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> At least you get a lot of power up for starting this boss. So when's the best time to actually hit him? Not a lot of room to actually hit Bowser or whatever you call him. This dude. It's really tough to land a hit on him without getting hit yourself. He's always seem to be throwing some sort of projectile, so really. There's this. And then there's just all the things he drops when he lands, so really. How am I gonna land hits on the boss? I'm assuming you do jump on him, like... It sounds safe that you do jump on this boss. Okay, you can spin jump off that. Okay, you, sp you can spin jump off the projectiles. Okay, now this is easy. Just spin jump off the projectiles, so you can get into the air, but you can keep jumping on them. Now this is ridiculously easy. Now that I understand the trick to do it. And pray that you don't end up accidentally getting hit while doing this. Eventually you'll land on him. Am I right? Yeah, you still do land on him. So we're gonna do this spin jump next to the wall trick. To spin jump on the projectiles and hopefully you end up hitting him a few times too. And just do this until he's dead. 
This'll take long, but it'll work. Okay, so there's a legitimate trick. <laughs> the wall trick. Just go to a wall, spin jump off everything, until he dies. It may take time, but it'll work. Sir, you get those feathers to start with, you can just hold the run button and glide. Okay, now the boss is easy. And... What happened now? <laughs> P-Switch Palace, let's go. Okay, now all of a sudden we go here. You have completed the game, go back to Yoshi's Island now! Hmm. It said there were five levels in this. Go back to Yoshi's Island now, look at arrows pointing us to go to credits. I have a feeling it's not over yet, so yeah. Okay, why do we have water in the ghost house here? Why are you putting enemies in the credit sequence? Because all these people did help us out. Okay, I got a music note block. Music artist. So why do you have to put enemies in the credit sequence? What if people actually do care about these people? What if someone actually cares about the people that did contribute to the ROM hack? What if they do care about them? Then what? What's this door for? Ah, just because I have a glitchy tile doesn't mean you get to hit the tree from below. Huh! <laughs> yeah, there's still enemies here. Sprite coders, and literally there are some sprites. Testers. Derpy back ride. <laughs> so all these people did test. And in here is just this again. I don't want to like this. Just sit there. There might be a part two to this. I don't know. We'll have to see. I need to get through this faster because it's this water section. I think there may be a part two to this, because apparently the, re the the description on Super Mario Central said five levels. And there's actually a lot of this here. So what's the point of this? How do I get down there? I don't know. Let's just go in here. Special thanks. Mm -hmm. And can we go in this door? Just to restart here. Creator! Dies with Yvonne. There's his avatar again. Now, how do I get to... Here, is it? There's always a way. But there should be. Maybe it's just so well hidden that, yeah, I don't know what to think. Okay, can you just fly up there, Mario? Fly up there! And do we get anything for going up here? No. We could go this way. We could go left. If you could fly back up there... Man, why am I having such a hard time just getting running boost off of only seven blocks, and we can go all the way out here to find... Another door. <laughs> okay. Well, that was random. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was random. So that's what happens if you fly out there. With the feathers you got from fighting the toaster oven. Because toaster ovens like to... Is there something else out there? Can I at least check if there's something else there? Well, I found th that. Whatever the hell it was supposed to be for real. Interesting to you know you actually could hide something like that. And there's nothing else out here. It's death. So how do you reach that door to the... Right, the far right, I mean. Well, you're not gonna fly there, by the looks of it. You're not gonna fly there. Maybe you grab these? No, you don't. You don't spin jump on them. 
can't pass through these. I, if you can, I just don't know. I, why they're like this, I just don't know. Gotta be something in that door. You know what? I don't know. What happens when I die, though? There's probably something else aside from. Maybe all the levels in Peace Witch were the five levels, I don't know. Maybe? <sighs> I don't know. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I'm just going random places. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask Dizer Devon if those are the five levels. Why else do you have some other Peace Witches lying around there? Are those just for decoration and never meant to be accessed? I think I'll have to ask Daizo himself. Or he could just answer it and then in the next video... Yeah, second video just to give this a rating. Alright, that's gonna be it. Bye.